welcome back to another video of Holly not wearing any makeup so she's putting on her sunglasses at the video beginning of the video to just let you all know <laughs> that it's summer and I honestly have not been wearing a ton of makeup because I'm about to go to the gym what's up guys welcome back to my channel my name is Holly if you have never watched one of my videos before um, I'm really glad that you are here and I hope that you enjoy this video enough to s click the subscribe button stick around check out a couple more videos but I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into this because I'm hoping this video will be under 10 minutes it's my goal so I I decided that I'm gonna make a video basically titled a few of my favorite things because you guys always ask me about things that I use things that I like to eat things like that so I thought that I would show you guys my favorites for the summer of 2017 it is August 1st today crazy I can't even believe that it's August 1st like literally looked at my phone and it says August 1st and I'm over here like oh my god that means school starts in 20 days I start school on August 21st. Comment below and tell me when you start school. I'm genuinely interested because I just like hearing when different schools start. Some people start earlier, some people start in September. Just curious. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my favorites. These are just a lot of the things that I use day to day. My favorite things. Video speaks for itself, Holly. Okay, so number one favorite thing I'm gonna start with is my white monster And obviously you guys see me drinking this in a lot of videos if you follow me on snapchat, which you should hold all 25 um, I will put this on snapchat a lot on my Instagram story, etc. I just really enjoy it It has zero calories, and I love this flavor the most my second favorite flavor is the purple one because it tastes like a grape And I love grape Kodiak cakes. Uh, a lot of people know about these. These have been going around on the internet on social media forever. And if you don't know about Kodiak cakes, you need to get on the bandwagon because they're amazing. So basically for the serving size of a half cup, it's 190 calories. It is one and a half fat, 35 carb. Um, protein is eight, which is really, 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 really good for a pancake mix in case you guys are interested in trying them. Uh, this is a brand new box I bought today. I don't show these a ton just because I always forget for some reason in the morning. I like to show my coffee, but then I forget to show my breakfast because I'm so starving to eat it because normally I eat breakfast after I've worked out. But I get the buttermilk and honey and literally all you do is add water and you can make it on the skillet. You can make it into a waffle, etc. So. Kodiak cakes. The next set of things that I want to show you guys are condiments because I have been using these all summer long on my chicken, on my turkey, on basically anything that needs a sauce. So I'm just going to show you guys a few of my favorites in case you need some ideas because condiments are the things where it really, really adds up. And like, not that I, I don't track anything, but like I do know that condiments add up. So I like to be super careful with that. So these are the things I buy because I don't worry as much with them. I can put a ton on and not worry about it except for one of these. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start out this is new actually I showed this the other day in my video um, this is Olive Garden light Italian dressing and it only is for two tablespoons it's 30 calories so I have been loving this this is really awesome on wraps this is really good on turkey you can get this at Walmart Target anywhere that's a grocery store and they have multiple items a lot of times you'll go to the store and they'll just have the original make sure you're getting the light that's the 30 calorie one next is barbecue sauce a lot of people know about this as well but this is the G Hughes um, sugar-free barbecue sauce hickory flavored and a boyfriend and I had this on grilled pizzas the other day and he didn't really love the flavor but I really enjoy it uh, it's only two carbs which is 10 calories for two tablespoons if you've ever looked at a barbecue sauce label it ain't good friends it's like a lot of calories for just a little bit of barbecue sauce and I'm over here like I'm trying to get my calories from chicken not from the barbecue sauce so check out your barbecue sauce label next time the next new thing that I've been insane with um, this is my olive oil mayo and it is basically gone it's pretty empty right now this is for one tablespoon 60 calories it is six grams of fat no carb no protein anything but whatever there are some things in life that you don't care about calories and it is mayo for me apparently because I never liked mayo and then my mom had me made me have some on a BLT like at the beginning of the summer and I was like oh sweet Mary why have I never tried this I don't like just regular mayo, like regular mayo with like all the fat and crap. No, it makes me want to dry heave. But this stuff is really, really good. If you've never tried it, try it. You don't need to douse your food in it, but it's amazing and I love it. But the second option that I use like for sandwiches and stuff a lot, I did just try this the other day and I do enjoy it. It is the light mayonnaise. So this one only has 35 calories per tablespoon, which is three and a half fat, one carb, which is pretty much half the fat of this but I still really like this guy he's really really delicious so 
yeah. But I really enjoy this one as well. So that is for condiments. Next, my fave snack of the month. This is like my go-to, and obviously you don't overdo it, but it is my favorite. Um, these are my favorite pretzels. I get them at Aldi's. It comes in a tub like this. They are just the honey wheat pretzels, and the serving size is one ounce. It's kind of a small serving, but I like to crack them in half and dip them in hummus, and I'm gonna show you guys my hummuses, but I really enjoy eating pretzels and hummus. Obviously, Obviously everybody chooses to eat their carbs in different way. I do eat vegetables, I do eat sweet potatoes and stuff, but a girl's gotta have a little balance in her life and I pick pretzels and hummus. That's what I enjoy, that's what I like. I love dipping things, so I pick pretzels with dips as these. Um, I like to get the lower fat hummuses because then I don't feel as bad about eating two tablespoons because I work better on a low fat, high carb diet. I can eat a shitload of carbs and be fine, but if I eat like a load of fat, I will, I, I know about it, so that's what I'm gonna say. Um, but try this out, really, really enjoy this. This is the light party dip, sour cream dip. I love party dip, but it's kinda high in fat, so I tried this one out and it's bomb. For two tablespoons, it's two and a half fat, two carb, and one protein, but highly recommend if you are into the party dip. Super, super good, um, and it honestly doesn't taste that much different from the regular. It's probably just less sour cream you're tasting. Um, I have jalapeno lime hummus. This one is super good. Got this one at Aldi's as well. And then I have roasted red pepper, and then I have garlic, and those are my hummuses. So I like to put those on a lot of different things, and like obviously don't like overdo it. Like last fall, I gained weight because I probably ate veggie straws and hummus like every day after school, but I don't do that anymore. I just really enjoy having it as like a little snack or pick me up. So that is for dips and pretzels. I have two more food items slash food items kind of. Um, I showed these in my video, my blog, and these are the garden tomato and basil rice cakes. These are bomb. If you've never had them, go try them. It's only 50 calories for one and that's like nothing. So they're really, really good and you can put a little bit of hummus on them. You can put some avocado on them. They're just really, really delicious and I recommend trying them. My last item is something that is not if you are under the age of 21, but if you are above the age of 21, you may view this video view this item item it is white claw seltzer shout out to my homies if i look hard i'm gonna write your name right here in this video because you were the one who told me to try this there were a few of you but these are delicious they got me hammer jammered on friday night last week and i i thoroughly enjoyed them they are not heavy at all like beer like i've drank beer all summer and don't get me wrong i'm not stopped drinking beer but there comes a time and place when you don't want to drink beer and you just want something that's delicious and these are delicious so i have actually i have black cherry in here too um this is just what i have left but this is the natural lime flavor and this one is the black cherry flavor they are five percent alcohol which is just like drinking a blat and they have it's the claim to have 110 calories and four carbs not that i give a shit about carbs when i'm drinking because you're drinking alcohol it has no nutritional content like it doesn't even matter like why do you care um but i do have a problem with drinking 700 calorie margaritas so there's a time and a place for those as well but anyways these are delicious try them out if you're looking for a new drink to try i had put on my instagram last week the spiked seltzer still really enjoy that one this one was i liked this one a little bit better just a little bit better so shout out to you for recommending them to me but they are in my favorites i have to put this in my favorite because i wear them every time i go to the gym my nmds i have the gray ones that I got a while back I've had them probably I got them in like April but they're my favorite I'm gonna insert a little picture here you guys probably see me wearing them in posts and stuff but they're my favorite shoes I highly recommend I know they keep coming out with more NMDs but they're bomb shoes and they're super comfortable and I recommend them to people when they ask me what I prefer for gym shoes NMDs love them in converse those are great too random miscellaneous favorite is my jbl speaker this speaker is completely waterproof it is awesome it was like i think it was 300 dollars. i got it as a gift but i highly highly recommend it i use this every single day like if i'm either getting ready or we're drinking or we're eating like or i'm just doing cleaning stuff around the house it gets really freaking like you know what? i'm gonna show you how loud it gets okay let's just see how loud this gets <laughs> Makes that little noise, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna blast something good. So as you can see, it gets pretty loud and it's pretty bomb. I love this speaker and it's just amazing. It's all my favorites, it's just a favorite. 
Next favorite would have to be this book right here. It is The Five Love Languages. If you have never read this book, it is a must have. You need to read it. I'm not done with it, but I'm pretty far into it and I already am obsessed. I've learned like 10 million things just by reading it. Um, I'm in a new relationship and obviously new relationships, old relationships, anything like you learn from each one. But this book teaches you a lot and it kind of puts into perspective things you've been through in the past, things you could be going through. It's just a really awesome book and I highly recommend it. Next, I want to talk about my favorite dry shampoos for the month because being in the summer, you're obviously you're going in the pool, you're at the lake, you're at the gym, you're doing a lot of different things and you don't always want to just go wash your hair. <laughs> Me, I don't want to wash my hair every time that it's disgusting and it kind of grosses people out, but it's fine. Um, so I got this. My mom got this in her FabFitFun box and she doesn't use dry shampoo, so she gave it to me. And this is dry shampoo with oat milk. It is by the brand Chlorine, I think. Probably butchering that. Um, Gentle Express Refresh and Revive. I freaking love this. Like, this is such a good dry shampoo. Like, this is my also my favorite because this is the volume one, but this one was so good that I might have to find it and buy the full bottle because it smells really good and it's, like, really refreshing. And for, like, my light blonde hair, it leaves, like, it makes the lightness pull through. So I really, really enjoy this. Highly recommend that. Um, I don't really know. I mean, all dry shampoo is going to leave a little bit of, like, a tint on your hair. And I'm really sorry for the sun setting. Um, it's all going to leave a tint on your hair, obviously, because it's, you know, helping it to be fresh but that stuff is just like awesome so I don't know about brunettes but I definitely love it and I'm blonde then again this is the Tresemme dry shampoo this is the volumizing dry shampoo I love this it's my favorite I buy this one a lot besides the Batiste one because that one's kind of expensive I pick this one next because it's really really good for a perfume favorites, this is my favorite. It's been my favorite forever. I just am mentioning it because I've never mentioned it before. I wear the Daisy perfume, and this is the Oh So Fresh one. This one smells bomb. I'm gonna spray it. I'm going to the gym, so. Smells amazing. This is like my favorite. Like, this is what I wear all the time. So, love this. Makeup favorites. Uh, I get questions a lot on what I use for makeup, and I think I answered it in a question video, but I'm just going to show you guys if you didn't watch that video. I am obsessed with the Wet n Wild foundation. Uh, this one is the Photo... Photo Focus Foundation, I have it in amber beige, cream beige, desert beige. I change my shades all the time just because I'm tan or if I self tan, but I love this. It's literally $5 and it's better than half of the foundations I've bought that are $40. So highly recommend trying this if you're looking for a good drugstore foundation. I love it and I use it all the time when I wear makeup. Um, and then for mascara, I think I've talked about this before too. This is my favorite mascara. It's my holy grail. I believe that this is like the best drugstore found mascara that I've ever used. It is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Um, I have it in waterproof and non-waterproof, but it looks like this. It is in a black tube. You can find it at any any store, honestly. It's not too expensive. I think it's like $6.99 or something, but it's amazing. It makes my lashes huge, and like I can insert a picture right here. Maybe, maybe not, but it just makes my lashes look like I'm wearing false lashes, and that's like something I've never accomplished with any other mascara, so I put that mascara at the top of my list. Next is the Smashbox Casey Holmes palette. If you do not have this palette, girl, you're missing out. Casey Holmes is amazing. If you don't watch her, I love her. She's like, I'm like obsessed with her life. Like, I just love Casey Holmes. Um, this is her Smashbox. This is her gold spotlight palette. Um, I have been using this like, ew, like crazy. This is kind of, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but this is like what the shades look like kind of hard to tell because of the lights coming through but this palette is awesome for tan skin that's why I picked this one because I have tan skin in the summer so I was like I'm gonna get the gold one and then maybe when I get pasty in the winter I'll buy the pearl so she has two of them but I've been loving this for my highlight it's awesome can't say enough good things about it and then the last thing is music I want to tell you guys my like two favorite songs of the month that I've been obsessed with or maybe in like the last two weeks but it is Brett Eldridge No Stopping You this song Young by the Chainsmokers is so good. Like, this song, anybody in their 20s needs to listen to this. Like, I'm obsessed with it. Everybody needs to listen to that song. So good. All right, friend jewelers, that is my favorites. I hope that somebody enjoyed this or found something new they might want to try. Wanted to share it with you guys. I am going to go to the gym now. I think I'm doing back and cardio and then going to Chicago in a day, so I need to pack and do a lot of other things. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.